Okay, hey everybody. Um, welcome to a, another quick video on proteomics data analysis. Um, what we're going to be doing now is downloading and starting a quick run in DIANN. So DIANN is compatible with all of the DIA data we generate here. And so I am just quickly going to show you how to download it. First, we will download, we will open our browser. I think we never put, I think I never put Chrome on here. So we both, so open your browser, Google search D-I-A-N-N -N GitHub, and you will find the D-I-A-N-N site. Um, this will tell you a little bit about it. There's a great manual. Um, this is usually the most sensitive way to search your DIA data. Um, click this to download it and choose the, this one, the EXE if it's Windows. Um, just click on it and it will download. Um, only takes a second. It's usually complaining about if you want to trust it, we'll say keep it and Edge is very annoying keep anyway. All right, so let's view that in the folder. We will click on the button to install it. It'll give us some warnings. We'll hit run anyway. Um, hit yes. Go through the prompts. I've already installed it, so I'm going to cancel. Yes, I will cancel. There is a great manual on here too, somewhere. You can find it. Um, let's see, table of contacts. There's a great manual on how to use it. Um, essentially what you do is you will see an icon on your desktop if you chose that, or you could just run it this way. Um, the most recent version is 1.8. You will see a bunch of dialogue prompts open and GUI screen. Um, on the top left, you will see uh, a place to put your raw data. We're going to use TimsToft, so we're going to select DIA passive. If it's Orbitrap data, if it's in a raw, hit the raw button. I've put some data here. This one's pretty old, but let's try it anyway. I think. Uh, where's a new one? Where's a new one? I think that'll be fine. Is this it? Let's do this one. This one's better. Uh, this is just a 50 nanogram QC rerun. So select the folder. Uh, Tim's top data is going to be folders. Uh, Orbitrap data will be raw files. Hit select. Um, you'll want to start with a FASTA file at first. So you want to add a FASTA file. How you download FASTA files is go to uniprot.org and go to proteomes. We are going to use humans, so we type in homo sapiens, not homo, or just human works. Uh, homo sapiens, it's 5640. Uh, what's an easy way to download it? Um, you could hit download here. What I like to do is download one protein per gene. That's right here. Um, but you can also download it um, this is usually how I download it. Uh, one protein per gene, and that only takes a second. And we will unzip it into this directory. It looks like I already have one there. Um, okay, where did it go? There it is right there. And real quickly, we will add the fast A. This is our FASTA file. It'll be 56409606, which is human. Uh, FASTA, hit open. Um, you want to make sure you check um, FASTA Digest for library free. Deep learning, we want to always turn on the deep learning. I usually leave oxidation off, although we can't turn it on. I do find it gives you a significantly more um, spectra, but you could try it on or off at first. But for right now, let's just leave the defaults. All of the defaults will be the same, except for mass accuracy for Tim's top. It always likes 10. At least it gives me a 
a prompt that 10 is better for MS and MSMS, so type in 10 here, or leave it at zero. Okay, the main output we're gonna wanna change to a directory um, anywhere on your drive. I'm gonna put that in F Brett. I'm gonna make a new, oh, I'm gonna make a new folder and call it D-I-A-N-N-N February or something. Okay. Select that and just give it an output like whatever output your file is going to be. So D I A N N uh, whatever. Um, output library. This is where it's going to save the um, the spectral library. So what it does is it does a deep learning prediction of all of the proteins in your FASTA file. So that will be where this will go. Oh, well, that's actually the library of something else of your run after it's done. It's actually a two pass search. I will go into that in more detail, but for right now, let's just ignore it. D-A-N-N, -N, and we'll give it a file, Spectre library. So actually D-I-N-N, -N, we'll do two searches. Um, first, it will convert, it will predict all of their retention times and spectra and nine mobilities of everything in your fast day. Um, that'll be the first step. Then it will search that spectral library. You only have to do that once. After that's done, you don't have to do it twice. Um, it will output another library too. So you'll have two libraries from this job. Uh, one will be the predicted library of all your fast day files, and one will be just the library of your results that you can use in other. Uh, analyses and like honestly that's it that's all you have to do the only tricky part is you have to hit run here and we're gonna hit run and let's see bam so it'll start processing the file this will take maybe an hour or two uh, everything else will take um, <laughs> you see Gabriella was telling me one of the samples was crap which is oh anyway um, okay Hmm, stop. 